I woke up early this morning, ready to go, and then somehow I was running late. So basically this morning I just got ready to pack my lunch because I have a long work day today. My shift today is 9 to 12.30, 30, 30 minute break, and then 1 to 6. Usually in the morning I'll come and look at the schedule, see what patients are in, and then I'll just kind of like pick up the area. We open at 7 a.m. We open 7 to 7 p.m. And when I come in, there's already patients working and employees, so I'll just kind of like clean up the area, wipe down the tables, change the pillowcases, and then I'll vacuum, look at the trash can, see if any of those need change. I'll do laundry, fold any laundry. Basically, I'll just do like tidying up duties to start my shift and then once everything's done and those tasks are checked off then that's when I'll start helping patients. So it is 12.34 and I'm just in the car. I made some overnight oats to eat. I'm taking my 30 minute lunch break right now. And then, ooh. oops. After I got off of lunch, we actually had no patience this hour. So I cleaned up. I put some hot packs away, wiped down the tables, wiped down some equipment changed the pillowcases, and basically prepped for the next hour. I ended up switching over to film on my phone, but thought it was the perfect time to give a tour of the facility that I work at. So as an employee, we'll usually walk through the back entrance, and we have the supply closet to our right, which also has the ice machine, where we do laundry and a few other supplies. We have some restrooms, and then this is just an overall view of the place. In the back corner, we have a functional area where we typically do our plyometric exercises and have more functional equipment like our med balls, hurdles, ropes, body blades, BOSU balls. Then we have a ballet bar and mirror where a lot of our geriatric patients will do some standing exercises, stretching, and then this way we have our hydroculators along with our break room and clinical director's office. Then we just have some machines. We have a leg press, hamstring curl, TKE, free motion cable machine. Along the back right side, we have our examination rooms and some TheraBands. Towards the left side of the place is where we have more bands, ankle weights, and dumbbells. We also have our tables where the patients typically do their lying exercises or get treatment like massage, stem, heat, or ice done. In this corner, we have the dry needling equipment along with some steppers, treadmills, and ellipticals, which usually is the patient's warm up. Here's what one of our three examination rooms looks like. And then this is the view from the front entrance. So when I'm not working directly with the patient or cleaning, I'll usually hang out at the front desk to check people in, schedule, take payments, or answer the phone. But in the afternoon, I got to work with a few people. So these are some of the exercises that we ran through. And then we ended up only having one therapist the rest of this afternoon. So it was fairly quiet. And I just had to do some laundry before heading home. So that is my typical day as a PT technician. You kind of saw as much as I could show you in the clips. Obviously, I can't show me working with patients. That's HIPAA violation. My job entails a little bit of everything. I do all the cleaning and just like the tidying up for our facility, whether that means laundry, equipment, cleaning up after people wiping down stuff, vacuuming. I also work the front desk a little bit. so. Our OC is usually here in the mornings till like 3 or 4. If I'm working an evening shift and she's not here, I'll be the one to take the calls, make the appointments, take payments, scan in like insurance documents, that kind of thing. And then working with the patients themselves is the last part of my job description and that probably varies the most, really just depends on what our schedule looks like. So we are at a private outpatient practice that can schedule up 
up to three patients an hour for the physical therapist, which can get really tough on the PTs, but also on the patients because obviously you want to give everyone the one-on-one -on -one care that they need and deserve, but just the way that our like practices ran, that's not necessarily possible all the time. That's kind of where like us technicians come in and we'll help people out on exercises, like get them moving from different stations. Sometimes if it's super busy, I'll pretty much work with a patient like every hour and go through the exercises. Again, if we have any questions for like the exercises, we can always ask the therapist. Our role as the technical like description of a PT tech is to work under the supervision of a physical therapist to basically provide better care for the patients. The patients are number one priority and I love my job especially because it is in the community that I grew up in so just knowing that like I'm getting to help people especially the ones that are in my community it just means a lot to me and like a lot of them live in my neighborhood and I see them so that's really cool and all the people are super super friendly as well so it makes the job really easy and fun to do. It's definitely something that I would suggest if you're interested in how healthcare field, PA, PT. So that's a very quick summary of what my role is. I apologize if I talked super fast. I'm trying to think if I missed anything else, but honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you guys have any other questions of what this role is like, want to see more Dan Life's, leave comments below and I'll see you next week.